Hi everyone, I'm taking y'all on a throwback to July 2019 when I shot my personal best link up. My wife and I had a Bayliner 2858 at the time that we used to live on while we were renting out our condo in Tawasson on Airbnb. Once we had Sela, the boat had to go. But it was fun while it lasted and we had a lot of great trips like this one here. For this one, it was Marco, Jeremy, Santos and Justin and we cruised over from Ladner to the Gulf Islands. The first spot we went to was a reef I had some mild success on in the past while line fishing. Just a little tip for you, if you're doing a dive on a boat with lots of current, you can tie a float line off to the back roughly 100 feet long and you can use that to retrieve yourself if the current pulls you out. The first spot turned out to be a bust. There was no fish and lots of current and really bad visibility. After not seeing much, literally due to the visibility and being pulled around in the current, we decided to keep cruising. The next spot was more of the same. No fish, bad visibility, current, so I just looked for some crabs. After I grabbed some uni and caught my limit in crab, I put the gun down and just did some free diving as I couldn't find any fish. And of course, that's when my luck changes, Murphy's Law. Monster of all lakes here. Fucking huge. Yeah, it's right here. It's fucking sick, dude. It's like an aquarium. Break that door, I didn't prove my gut. Yeah, it's fucking down here, dude. This is a fucking aquarium right in this spot. It's sick, man. It's right in this drop off. I'm gonna grab my gun. That thing was fucking the biggest one I've seen. After I calmed myself down and grabbed my gun, I did a drop and saw the biggest of all cabazon swim into some rocks. I didn't want to shoot it in its tail, so I was trying to scare it out of the rocks so Jeremy, who was beside me, could get a clean shot. But no success. Everything happens for a reason. Not shooting that cabazon led me to this link cut. Shooting a big link cut like this can be controversial. On one hand, you bring home a lot of food to feed your friends and family, but on the other, it's the big fish like this, the females, that lay the eggs and populate the reef. For me, it's almost bittersweet. I'm not a trophy hunter and I try to be responsible, but I will shoot the odd big fish if I have the chance. Oh yeah. Oh fuck. Yeah, buddies. That's what's about, man. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I'm stoked. Fuck it, I was worried about my spear. I wasn't sure if I could stay in, man. Yeah. And drill in the head and just uh, push it in. Yeah, yeah as big as what I've caught. Yeah, not because of that, man. I think I got that on camera, too. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Santos brought a scale with him. I gutted it and then we weighed it and it came in at 24 pounds. I'm thinking roughly 27 before it was gutted. There's no real skill involved in shooting a big link cod. It's all about being in the right place at the right time, but I was stoked. We finished up the trip with a little stop at Wallace Island, which is one of my favorite islands. There's lots of history, it's scenic, and they have a cabin with a lot of homemade signs that boaters drop off after making their own. My plan is to make my own out of a retired freediving fin. This trip taught me about patience and to never give up as your luck can switch like a flick of a switch. From there, we just cruised home. It was a beautiful day, fun time with great people. Thanks for watching. Peace, love. See you on the next one.